the veteran players is going to have a decent chunk of numbers in terms of a... Uh, there you go. So yeah, it definitely makes a difference. We're going to go and start the next battle here. I'll get rid of this webcam and guys, look forward to this one. Odin's Legion on the defense of Allenberg along with Surslayers on the attack. Surslayers are currently with a 1-0 advantage here. Winner of this one will determine whether it's a one point each or whether Surslayers grabs the win and wins the three points for the league. As you can see here on the attack here, Odin's Legion going with Palace Guards. A lot of Palace Guards. Some of you oh, swapping around here. As you can see, we'll just kind of wait till it kind of settles down a little while they pick their first unit. But Palace Guards, there's IPGs. I keep saying IPGs, it's Fort Brasho, my lies. Fort Brasho, you've got some pushing units as well for the Siege Towers. Lots of short starts once again. Still a couple of muskets on the attack, a couple of pikes, but nothing, nothing majorly one-sided. Yo, Spencer TV, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the clan, appreciate it. Yeah, and on the defense here, you've got similar idea. More more pikes on the defense once again. Got grey hairs, Imperial spear guards. You've got some palace guards, some some cav ready to, to charge here as well. Cap leadership at 700, you lose value of units with this much leadership. That's very true. So we will. Uh, oh, does Legion win? I don't know what happened, but they are resetting because something went wrong. Hmm. Something went wrong. We will start again. No death limit, and is kind uh, and no is kind of stupid because not everyone has nine hundred seven hundred ninety plus leadership. So you could just suicide on units. Nope, I delete Discord. I just watched the game. <laughs> So we're going to start that battle again, no idea what was wrong there for that one, but we'll wait to see and get into the next one. Already up, already to go, so. No, you bitey. I need a house on EU1, move my alt there. Yo, goes of HK, how you doing, buddy? Go on, go on, you know you want to, buddy, you know you want to. I 
I want to see what that looks like on the stream there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to move that up to the side and then we're going to move Odin's Legion 1 up to here. There's pure search there's with Artie Bug. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. I need to respond back here. Right, we go. We are ready. We're going. Let's go. Cash expand, Falcon 80 banners, and a reset of this match here. We are ready to go once again. Orange Legion on the attack, Surf Slayers on defense. Now, hopefully, this time everything is all good to go and we don't have any mix ups or any other problems because people couldn't join. Hopefully, that is us all good. Similar to idea setup, I guess, is going to be similar to what it was already, but we'll wait and see how it pans out. I'm going to get rid of that sponsor because that is in the way of the messages and whatever you need to see there. When is the new Armagers montage? <laughs> so. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we go do. There we go. So we we do what we did last time, we will have a nosy lure, we will Z out here and zoom right up into the sky. Okay, so what is Legion doing a completely different strategy? They are just totally it looks like they're staying up here but getting units all set up at home. And um, that Dark Flames in Eden back there, a sponge back there, and then you've got a couple of units just down here, just as a Look alike, but no, no real units to defend any of these points. It's going to be a total deterrent here, as you can see on the defense. They have a completely different idea, different plan of strategy here. It will be down. This is just a about waiting to make sure the time is available. A lot of the Odin's Legion's unit still in the very back of spawn here, not coming out, not doing anything, not over committing or anything like that, not getting their units whittled down for no reason. But just uh, just being a deterrent, Liquid we'll Steel just trying to bait people all the way around the right hand side of the map here. Making sure people don't get up, don't get a call out to say, by the way, nothing is there to defend. Nothing is there. But just using all the artillery, using that, I hope they're using that mortar as a scouting tool. You know, that's what I'd be doing, following that Z. Forward to see exactly what's there, where it's set up and whatnot. Yeah, and with that, you probably would see that there is nothing there. Nobody is defending anywhere. Lex, fully away as well. Everybody's just full on defending. Home point B will be taken now. Tomsky's taken B along with Kami Hendro or Kami Hedro. And then Lugo Steel, Ragnarok are all gonna push down, grab A, give themselves some time. And then they close the gates. 
How solid are the defense is this going to be? How interesting is it going to be from Surf Slurge? What they've chosen to do? Just full on defend. The one point. No over committing. No nothing. Everybody is all set, ready to go. So at this point, they're just going to cap A and B, grab the supply point, and then go and grab C for free. All of it uh, for Odin's Legion is free. In comparison to what uh, Odin's Legion did in defend, there's a lot more units though to go for. So as you can see on the defense, a lot less units. Because there's no Cerse, I guess. There's no useful units that are being taken. They've all got good units on the defense here. You've got some Monastic there. You've got ranged units of there. Uh, got the Singes, you got the Imperial Pike Guards, Peer, uh, Spear Guards, you've got Fort Abrasio. No use of IPGs, literally nobody bringing IPGs. There's one set over the whole team there of IPGs. I love IPGs too. Plus two for IQ. <laughs> so, now it's all about the setup here and what they choose to do here. Obviously they haven't taken down the gates, using the gates as an open bait. Keep them open. And then they can close them whenever they want them, I guess, is what their plan is here. Ah, uh, they're trying to get everybody to group up on the supply point. So they're going to try and do a full, full setup here, it looks like. They're all on this setup, ready around this the right side wall. And in the background here, you can see a set of palace guards and a set Fort Abrasia? Lanchnecks. Set of Lanchnecks, so. A couple of people fighting in the stairwell here. Flamestar just trying to do his thing. Jumping in and about. Being a nuisance while the muskets dropping in some bombs as much as possible. The choice is there to shut the gate at any point in time as well. But they're bringing up all their units now. This is it where they start bringing the push. Bringing their units all together in unison. It's the only way. Lots of muskets on the wall here for surf slayers. Just trying to whittle the down the units before they even make a push. Plenty of bombs, plenty of uh, cow trop drops. Trying to, to make sure they just whittle down the, the health of all the units. But they're baiting that side to go to the right, uh, left side here by the looks of Oh, hi, is this? How are you doing? Thomas Fox is going to be in there. In the ball wall with here, you can see a set of Fort Abrasio. It's been musket cow trapped here. And then you've got Senjis on the wall. That's Iron Reapers on the wall to this right hand side there. And a set of Palace Guards here as well, ready for breaking this point. Treb's coming in, but to no avail, literally hitting the top of the wall. Didn't really do anything to any of the units around the back, uh, or even help them in that terms of the push. Couple of heroes just fighting for their life here against a lot of players uh, on the side of uh, Surf Slayers. The Treb comes in, but nobody's going to be there. It does kill Ruffle. Oh, Flamestar kills Ruffle. He's the first to die. Ruffle, you don't regret it. You're the first to die on defense. I seen it, we seen it, you seen it, we all seen it, she strat, didn't you? You all seen it. Ruffle was the first to go. But now they're trying to get up top here with uh, Iron Reapers here, but the unit of uh, Grey Hairs is doing a great job to push up along with some Claymores. Is that Claymores in the background there? Yeah, it is. Some Claymores being used in the battles. That's interesting. Interesting to see. As this comes in, they're now starting to push in in the wall, coming in and pushing in to the right. Fury uh, comes in, Crazy comes in, Thomas Fox all in the, the wall. They've got a set of modals ready, but Flame Boys on the defense there from Surf Slayers might stop that defense of the modal. But plenty of units coming in, Palace Guards charging in. Well, they also still try to fight on the wall. They've got a couple of units up on hold. Iron Reaper staying up there, surviving long enough. Will the Javelins do some work here from Surf Slayers? Start to whittle down the units here. It's a lot harder to see colours here just now. Red and blues all mixing in, but a nice calf charge comes in. Is that Makuka with another calf charge once again? He's pulling off some work without calf charges. 
Lex fighting for his life down there, but seems to be doing a good job. Whittling down all the units that are there. Surf Slayers holding still and holding true. Units definitely difficult to see in color wise. I don't know what it is, but blue, blacks, reds, it's all it's all too similar. There is nothing there apart from the hero thing that you can actually see. And now they close the gates. The Ragnarok stuck inside. Is he going to get picked off here? Well, the ball goes down. The rest of his team to come to try and support him. But the Fortabrachio are in place and have stopped that there. But the muskets using their units and their bombs there to stop that just now. In terms of not unit numbers, we're pretty even here. Unit numbers pretty even as well on terms of heroes alive. Mass, as Mass Flames goes. And yeah, Luko Strail down as well, so we're we're back to 15v13 here. Well, Odin's Legion have to set up once again for this. It's definitely very delayed in terms of the kills and when the kills are coming up, because, yeah. As you can see, Drayton and Ragnarok dead just now, but bringing in some IPGs. We've got some Hussars ready to come along, Iron Reapers, Senjis. But Surf Slayer's definitely set up already to hold a, a push here oh this is going to be interesting will this treb connect will the treb connect the fortabrachio that's all set up there that's a nice one that one is what you want that is exactly what you ask for in a treb that's square in the face to a lot of them fortabrachio they're going to have to go back and heal or else they will be taking tons of damage this is kind of when you want to get that push in if you can if you are on the Odin's Legion side, you want to be starting to push in there and going into the right hand side. It is just a unit of palace guards defending just now. We have got Fort Abrasio on the left hand side, but if you push into there, that would be where you'd like to go. All the heroes trying to fight up on the wall here at the moment. Trying to gain a little bit of high ground here. They have got it. They don't have any units there. It's just heroes defending that point, but the Fort Abrasio that did get weakened by that trebuchet is are now going to be getting back and put into place. Treb already set up here as well. So using the Trebs like Surf Slayers did in the first gun. Right into the back of the units. It's a little bit too far, I think. They actually doesn't really connect as much as you wish to have done. Um, we've got units up on the wall though here. Couple of heroes fighting. One on one with Greyhairs. Greyhairs and Palace Guards here, but there's also Iron Reapers coming up in the background. Oh no, it's Claymores. Claymores do some work here. Luko Steel falls, and the fight is going to them. Palace Guards making the effort. A lot of Palace Guards pushing up on that wall, but we're not seeing a push anywhere else at this moment in time. Palace Guards are doing the work, but the Greyhairs are surviving long enough to hold off. Watching the Treb coming in again. Is this Treb going to do any work here on the back? All this Palace Guards coming in to support, but... Odin's Legion pushing in from the gate now. The Treb comes in. The Treb hits a couple of units there. Coming down the stair and retreat. And I think they're going to get the stairwell on the top. The Greyhairs are falling. The units are in the gateway. And as you can see, we've got units pushing everywhere. Looks like Surf Slayer survived that fight there at the front gate. But around the back here, we have some more fights coming in. But Surf Slayer surviving the fight. Surf Slayer still got less units though. Uh, plenty of time, 9 minutes left, but only 7 trebs on the attack side left. Now it's going to be what units are they going to use here? Making sure they're killing in Yumaga here. A charge wasted. Yumaga gets out of there alive. I have no idea how. But Yumaga is somersaulting, backflipping, and makes it all the way back home. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? Makuta Falls stays dead from Thomas Fox, but lots of people rotating in. Surfs, Slayers. Not paying attention, but the back flank here. Buck got a couple of units of cab around the back there. What are they going to do? Are they going to try and push straight here, or are they going to go around the back supply point? As you can see, we've got, up, we've got up a bit higher here. Units here, lots of units set up for Odin's Legion. They are capping. They are on the point. Are they going to be able to get in there in the back, use the cav? Here comes Surf Slayer's cav, though. Okay, Surf Slayer's cav going straight through the point. Mass Flame's going through the point here. Is he going to use his unit to do anything good here? He's going around straight towards the front. Nothing there though. He's rotating, he's rotating, but his unit might get knocked out. Thomas Fox still using that cap point and taking the cap. Well, Surf Slayers are pretty much all back in the supply point here. There's a lot of heroes on the point. Unit-wise, Armagers are on the point. 
But they are going to wait a fall down there. Looks like there's plenty of units here from Warren's Legion. They're definitely doing a good job here. But mass, uh, Lord Flames got a set of palace guards still on the point, pushing through. Lots of cav coming in here. That's a set of Asars charging in. Makuka with another set of charge, cross charge here coming in. I don't even no idea what unit, but it's such a cluster. We've got units everywhere. Surf Slayer seems to have got herself back on. The number wise, they are up on numbers. 14 heroes versus 6 on the attack. It was a good, decent push from Odin's Legion. They still have the number advantage. They still have the 6 tribes. But they have been pushed off of this push. It was a very decent and valiant ever. I think the, the cab that came in that saved the day for uh, Surf Slayers that time round with the little flanks around the back. Held off. Now they need to reset up for the next push here. Your Fort Abrasio are set up again at the gate. We have more units of Palace Guards still set up. And then as you look at the map here, we've still got plenty of Fort Abrasios out. Lots of monastics were used there. Uh, Armagers as well. Um, and then on the attack now, we're going to see what they're going to bring out here. They did have some units of Cav out there before, but what units do they have next for the next push here? A pre-treb is in place. It hits the Fort Abrasio around the wall. As Odin's Legion try to make gainways through the gate here. Will they try pushing that gate yet? Ottoman just looking. Ottoman is looking for that spot, that look opportunity. There is only village watchmen at the gate there though. So it's not a very promising unit to be pushing with. And you have another set up here on both walls. So they are setting up for a double push once again. How is it going to work this time around? There is definitely not as much defense sides. There's pike militia on the gate there. And on this side, they've got the majority of the defense on the right hand side. Got to be an interesting thing one here. Interesting here to see where we where they're going to go. They're doing that, that fake and they're going to move going to the main gate. Lots of units set up on the main gate. Lots of heroes surviving there around the point. There is a set of Fort Abrasco there. If they can get around and get that tribe set up ready to preempt that push. You might be able to wipe some good units there, some good units to that Fort Abrasius, for example. Maybe even get into the back of the uh, the palace guards that are on the right-hand side here. But there is two sets of Iron Reapers. Is that Claymores? There's a set of Iron Reapers there for sure, though. Two sets of Iron Reapers. One with Flail, one with Swords, all set up. And then on the attack here, they're going to think whether they're going to go back and forward, back and forward. Kind of bait the defense of where they're going. We still have five minutes left of this. We're pretty evenly matched here. Five tribes left. All the heroes are on the wall for Surf Slayers, as you can see. But really difficult to push without any artillery, so it definitely comes down to a very well organized push. And whether the tribes work out. Senji's, oh my god, that treb. I don't know what the plan with that treb was. I don't know what they think that's going to do. I think that's, that's going to miss everything. Oh my god, it baited the Fort Abrasco to move. That is brilliant. That's actually worked out so well. Fort Abrasco had to move, but Palace Guard's coming with a charge there. And then now we get a pinch here from Surf Slayers. They're sending both sets of units in the back there. Treb in the back here as well to try and wipe the rest of these Fort Abrasco in the back. As the units of Cav are going to be sent in. Armagers went through the point there. Lord Flame... Lots of people fighting on the point here, but Iron Reaper's doing a lot of work here. Iron Reaper's just picking up so much kills here. So much units falling. Looks like that treb will do a good amount of damage there. We are, we've lost a lot of units though. And here comes the cav charge in the back. The Hussars coming from the back. But they are wiped pretty quickly there, Armagers. Take them out of the job, or that's Carfrax. Somebody's using Carfrax. Interesting. A set of Carfrax are used and do a great job. Llama Bird Ruffle trying to stay on the point, trying to bait things, trying to use trebs, but we're down to 250 units versus 438 on the defense. That was a very good pinch from Surf Slayers to stop the push. The bait of the treb was really nice. It moved the units out of the way, but all of a sudden, the pinch from Surf Slayers, just wiped their push, wiped their push right away. Pushing out as well, Surf Slayers are pushing out onto the players of Odin's Legion because there is no units there, just heroes on the point there at this point. Now they're just doing a battle, Drayton Falls there. Zex with a little musket doing, doing some work. Ottoman 
trying to get some kills here. But there goes Comey Hedro. Grim runs away as well. And now we're starting to set up for their final push. Or what looks like it's going to be their final push. They'll need to time this. They'll need to do this well. Because in terms of the defense, there are still a lot better units out there on the defense than there is on the attack at this point in time. It's going to be a rough one to do. 429 units versus 245 with only one treb available. One more treb. And that treb has to be used superbly well. There's a big cluster there, but it will probably most likely move as soon as the treb comes in. So it's all about pre-trebbing, pre-planning uh, where they're going to go with that. Got units coming on the back. Just a set of woodcutters there as a defense, just to let people know that they come in there. But when I look at this setup here and what's there, there could be it would be a sally out if, if, if they wanted to risk it. But we've still got a ca set of cav ready in the back here. Set of armagers ready to do the work. Lamb of the bird falls. They're pushing up on the walls now. So they're going to try and push down from the wall. Trying to use this as a bait. It is just woodcutters by the looks of it. Or at least Martellatory as a, as a bait here up on the wall. The treb is coming in. And is the treb going to do anything here? Units are going to be moved because they, they know the treb is coming. But they move into it. The, the unit moves. The Fort Brasher moved into it. Fury as he gets onto the point. Units are pushing in and lots of people transferring back. The Armagers have made a good move, but the pushes on the walls need to be done. It's a one minute left. Uh, there we go. There we go. It looks like that is going to be it. We are 13 v 13 no hero wise, but unit wise, there is nothing left that of value. On the side of Odin's Legion. Surf Slayers putting in the work now. They're going in with the Armagers. Now they're going to do some work. Na no name going outside with his Armagers. Going to try and pick up all the units outside. But there is none left. Defenders will win this. Looks like the Defenders have done a great job here. Only three heroes on the wall. They're fighting. That are anywhere near the point. Drayton runs away to avoid death. Thomas Fox dies by falling. But Drayton's like, nah, I've had enough of this. There's only three heroes alive. Odin's Legion getting pushed out. A very, very solid defense from Surf Slayers. Buck just standing up there on his pike, jumping up and down. Mass Flames will now just cap the supply point. Just to make it a little bit of fun of it. Drayton's going to try and run away and see, stay alive. Colt give dies to ZX. And as you can see, that is pretty much it. Everybody is wiped on this side. Bar Drayton and Buck. Only two heroes dead on the side of Surf Slayers with plenty of units alive. 400 units to 84 units. And that's it. Surf Slayers go into this one. It is now Surf Slayers 2-0 versus Odin's Legion. GG guys for the fights. GG in the battles. Buck did his hardest. He's up there with the S rank but not enough to get in and take his team to the win. Um, unlucky boys, it was a very good, interesting fight. I believe I'm starting to see color brain. <laughs> but yeah, that is that is a, that is a, that was a tough one to, to get in there. Surf Slayers defended the home point, didn't defend any other point. Let the points fall or down to it. Well, they defended that, and then yeah, it is pretty much that is it. G game over. Surf Slayers take the W, and they will move on. To get in three points in their league, which is going to help them push up towards them rankings. As you can see, in terms of the heroes killed here, massive, massive 51 heroes killed on the side of Surf Slayers in comparison to 21 heroes killed on the side of Odin's Legion. Definitely made a massive difference, um, as you can see with the unit kills as well. As soon as the hero dies, the unit is so much easier to kill, so much quicker to kill, because they can't be used, no abilities can be used, and they're not controlled. So, yeah. It, it definitely worked very well in Surf's favour. Um, there's not much we could do about that. I'm sorry, Odin's Legion, but you'll have to live to fight another day. Surf Slayers, GG, well done on your win. And uh, yeah, good luck for your next battles next week. Well done. Um, there's a win under the belt. And that is you guys finished for this evening. We're going to move on, though. We are moving to our next, uh, next match pretty quickly.